All right, so I made a mistake. I went inside the Goodwill right there and thought I was filming, but I guess I didn't hit the record button. But so I did pick up some things. I got a whole shopping cart full of stuff. It was a pretty good day. I actually picked up some really good items. Uh, a couple items just to sell and make a little bit of money in the eBay store, but I did pick up some that are gonna probably make 10 times the amount of what I paid for them. So it was a really good finds. I had a really good day. It wasn't crowded. You can see the weather. It's a little bit misty and yeah, it's uh, a little bit cold outside. So, but it's okay because it kept the people away and I was enjoying going to the Goodwill store without a bunch of people. So, let me get all, let me get all this put up. And yeah, sorry I didn't get the recording inside there. Maybe next time. All right, so I'm back in the eBay cave. I picked up some items. This isn't quite all the items that you saw in the shopping cart. Um, some of the things that I did pick up, I picked up for myself. And a couple of things I, I thought, eh, probably not even worth showing. And I don't even know if I'm going to resell them. So I'll probably just donate them after I picked them up. They kind of had second thoughts. Impulse buy, I guess. I don't know. But these are some of the items I picked up that I know I'm going to list on eBay. And I thought I'd show them to you real quick and tell you about them. The first thing I picked up, uh, blue tag was half off today. So I paid, this one says $3.99. I paid $2 for it. It's a vintage splash and play still packaged still in the in the bag and uh yeah i would get at least twenty dollars for it now this i picked up it's just a uh disney ornament it's a hallmark disney ornament it's tinkerbell uh paid a dollar for it and i probably it's not a real fancy super one but I'll probably get $8, $10 for it. I picked up this new and package uh, Martha Stewart Crafts. It's a glass paintbrush set. And it's only, I looked it up, comps on it. It's about uh, $8 plus shipping. Paid a dollar for it. I couldn't help, oops, oops. I couldn't help. The lo a foghorn leghorn. I just had to pick them up. <laughs> anyway, isn't he cute? Paid two dollars for him. Um, he's nineteen ninety seven. Uh, comps on him are selling at fifteen dollars plus shipping. But I think he's kind of cute. <laughs> you don't see foghorn leghorn too much. All right, the next thing I picked up were these, and they're both the same. They're Brass Key Presents Treasures of Ornaments. They're handcrafted glass. And they are, I paid a dollar a piece for them. No, I take that back. I paid 50 cents a piece for them. Uh, they are selling on eBay. One just sold, the exact same one, for $10 plus the shipping. So that would be a good flip. Another thing I couldn't pass up was this little snow globe, his Santa Claus and the cowboy hat. Uh, I just, I couldn't pass him up. You probably got, well, he might have the reflection of the light on there, but uh, he was kind of cute. So I, I couldn't, I just couldn't pass him up. And uh, I paid, I don't remember what I paid for him. I think I paid, might've been a dollar fifty for him. Anyway, it's music that winds up and plays. I already checked it out. Uh, I'll probably get, uh, probably ask. It's not, I don't know how popular it is. And probably hold on to it till next Christmas. I don't know. Maybe I'll list it right now. Maybe $15, $20 for it. This I thought was super interesting. When I saw it, it wouldn't fit down into the box. And I couldn't figure out why. Well, this is says the National Cookie Maker, um, and it's a a cookie press, an old aluminum cookie press. But it also has, and I'll set this down. 
but it also has the cake I, I, I icing. This is actually the cookie press, and this is the cookie or icing press. It's two different ones in one box. So I got I got a bonus. Plus it comes with all of its attachments. The super cool thing about this is it's got its own it's it's the original box. It's really nice. I thought it was really neat. The bottom of the box is price one dollar. You don't even see anything like that anymore. So I thought that was pretty pretty cool. Alright. The uh you might recognize this next thing if some of you might recognize it. Tell me in the comments if you know what this is. All right, I'll tell you anyway. This is a Sunnydale uh, pennant. Sunnydale, I paid a 99 cents for it. Purple tag, blue purple tag, half off. But uh, it says 99 cents. I paid 50 cents for it. And what Sunnydale is, is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> uh, these are on eBay. They're selling. They're selling for about $10 a piece. So that was pretty good fun. The next thing I found were these golf club socks. They're vintage pom-pom pom-pom socks. This is a one and three. They also make one, um, one, three, and five. This is, I don't know if there was a number five or not, but this one was together. They had them together. I paid a dollar for them. This is something, if you see the pom-pom ones, if you look out for them, they will sell. These uh, generally sell for about twenty dollars. There's a, the older vintage ones. Matter of fact, I, even, I don't even know if they make newer ones with pom poms, but I know the old vintage ones are will sell for about twenty dollars plus. Especially if you got one, three, and five. I don't have one, three, and five. Maybe I'll still get twenty, maybe fifteen. But I know if you got one, three, and five, you can get twenty dollars plus. All right. So the, the other next thing I picked up was this box of grass or leaf grass. It's for like train sets or model model train sets. It's a vintage box. Uh, paid a uh, dollar for it. Probably too much for it actually to pay for it. Uh, just one box like this would probably not fetch very much. Maybe $8 even though it's an older vintage one. I might be able to get 10 but I'm probably looking just about eight. If I would have had a couple more boxes to go with it, that'd have been better. All right, pick this up for 50 cents. This is the old Monopoly board game board game pieces. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the game the board with it. But I'll open up and show you. It's got the old Monopoly money, the cards, and all the houses are wooden. It's got. Uh, let's see if I can get this without trying to drop it all. It's got the instructions and it should be marked on here what the date of it is. Well, let me look real quick. Oh, there it is. Copyright 1951-52. So that's it. That's, you can tell it's old and vintage. Like I said, it's got all the parts and pieces to it. It's got the cards. Unfortunately, like I said, it doesn't have the... Uh, original game board to go was supposed to go with it so i don't know i have to look and do a little research on this since it doesn't have the board but maybe i can still get 20 dollars plus for the pieces i'm sure if it had the board it'd probably be 50 dollars but without the board it's probably i'd probably at least get 20 dollars plus shipping easy maybe 25 all right i picked up this uh toiletry bag it's swiss gear it's got the like the swiss army knife symbol on it it's still new doesn't have tags but it's still brand new has the has the uh, shampoo bottle insert uh, or it, shampoo bottles inside of it uh paid a dollar for it now this isn't a real high priced item i'll uh, probably get about 15 dollars for it on the high side probably 15 dollars plus shipping uh but I'm, 12 to 15 is a good, probably common price to ask for that. If you saw my last video, I picked up some uh, youth roller derby replacement sets. Well, these are 
roller derby. I don't know, it was a different thrift store, but it, these are roller derby inline replacements. Now, the thing about this, if you happen to find any of these, the inline replacement, the just a single looks like this. You can sell them for about $10 a piece, but they're not fast sellers. I'm going to tell you that now. They are not fast sellers. However, if you will take all of these off and get eight wheels and separate it and sell the eight wheels with the bearings, you get $20 for it and they'll sell, they'll sell a lot faster. Uh, probably within a week or two of listing, you'll probably get them sold. Uh, pick this up. It's a tin metal lunchbox. This is Cedar Rapids Kernels, the Gazette. It's sponsored by Toyota. Uh, I looked at it, put it down, and started to walk away. Pulled up my phone, looked at the comps. So, paid a buck for it. So, hey, you know, it's lightweight. It's going to ship out easy. $15. I thought this was a really good find. I don't I don't like this that the uh, thrift store put tape all the way around the outside of the box. Uh, but I did open it up. It's a Michael Graves Designs tic tac toe uh, table tic tac toe for your like your coffee table, wherever. But you know for like coffee tables and stuff where you can use it for designs or actually play. But uh, paid a dollar for this. Dollar ninety nine half off. Paid a dollar for this. Uh, and this will sell for $20. Um, most of the comps that I was seeing on this were uh, ranging from $15 to $20 plus the shipping. So $20 seemed like an average price. This is something that I almost walked by also. And I don't know how well you're going to see it with the reflection of the light, but I'll try to hold it. You can see it, it's a extension spray nozzle you can see the y right there and this is uh wagner like the way you know wagner paint power extension it's a 24 inch extension it's a dollar 99 blue tag half off paid a dollar for it again this was one of those items that you kind of want to look at and just probably walk by but it was in the bag it's sealed anytime something's in the sealed got a name brand on it i always stop look it up and on the comps this is a 40 dollars item brand, brand new sells for 40 dollars online if you buy it from uh, wagner they'll charge you 60 dollars keep an eye out for that kind of stuff all right this right here was a is a north face Travel kit, travel bag, just a little small bag, little thing. Still got the tag, still still new. Paid half off of $5.99, so I paid $3. This is a called a field bag. Original price, $65. Looked up on comps and saw a couple of these sold for $45. The exact same one, exact same color. Sold for $45. Super, super good find. Keep an eye out for that, especially with the tags. Keep an eye out for a lot of North Face, but keep an eye out for North Face backpacks, North Face uh, jackets, things like that. They don't sell as much as they used to, but, they, but I don't know. This kit's still pretty good. Like I said, $45 sold the front. Matter of fact, if I can find it, I'll put the picture up here. It was $40, $45. So if I can find it, I'll put it up here. If I can't find it, I won't put it up here. Uh, that was pretty much all those items, but I found one more home run item. Man, I was happy to find those. And I set it off to the side. I found a pair of Pradas. These are a pair of men's Pradas. You can see right there, Prada tennis shoes. Really good condition. Little light scuff right there. You can see on the edge. Soles are still pretty good. Just need to be cleaned up a little bit. It's got the Prada mark along the, outside, along the bottom. It's got the number on the inside of the model number and the size 12. I was really happy. Looked these up. Really good, really good condition. These are selling on eBay for $150. Like I said, these got little scuffs. 
just a little bit of light scuff probably just clean them up pretty good i'm still going to ask 80 dollars for these um anyway really happy to find them really good find i thought that was a home run for me so i hope you enjoyed looking at all these items and that i had to show i hope that they're items that you can find i try to source and look for items when i put them on videos of things that you'll find when you're out looking not just something that's unique to the area but some maybe not something like this with a cowboy you may not find the snow globe with the cowboy because we are in because i am in texas but i try to find items that are pretty much unique to what you'll be able to find when you go out so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like it be sure to hit that uh, like button give me give me a thumbs up leave a comment i love to hear the comments good or bad but i love all the comments because they help me heard something make some noise anyway to all the resellers out there find it sell it profit y'all take care and have a great day